What happened in Afghanistan with Uncle Joe suddenly pulling the plug and extracting the US military before taking care of civilians would seem like the biggest blunder by a US president ever. However, what most people have no idea about is that this was a planned Charlie Indian Alpha initiative that was shown to the world in plain sight as long as 9 years ago when the iPad Go 2 animation was released. Those who are considered the enemies of humanity and who want to reduce the world's population down to a fraction of what we have today enjoy making use of predictive programming in which they show their plans openly in plain sight before they are carried out, arguing that not giving their victims fair warning is not good sportsmanship. Uncle Joe with his impaired cognitive abilities is the perfect fall guy to blame the outcome of this initiative on and the purpose of this is to draw attention away from those who are really behind what happened and what they are planning to do next. And that would seem to involve bringing back the Donald and then destroying the economy by launching several nuclear attacks against a large number of US cities before the end of September. This will once again be a distraction to draw people's attention away from the truth. In this scene from the iPetco 2 animation, which is one of the most important predictive programming tools in the enemy's arsenal, our enemy's plan to bring back Bin Laden's legacy is clearly shown to us, even showing us who is responsible. And we even see how the weapons that were left behind by the US would fall into enemy's hands, who can now use this for whatever purpose they see fit. All of this was actually part of a much older plan that was already penned in 1871. This was Albert Pike's blueprint for conducting three world wars that he sent to his colleague Giuseppe Mazzini. In this letter the following is stated regarding the third world war, which is about to get underway when you consider the rest of the information provided. The Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agentur of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam and political Zionism mutually destroy each other. Meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided on this issue, will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual and economical exhaustion. Do you not think that the world has been going through quite a bit of this over the past two years, especially the exhaustion bits? What better way to close this out than to destroy the economy and the lives of millions of people? The events that will very likely follow over the next two months have also been shown to those whose eyes are open and who know what to look for. If you would like to know more about this evil plan, please watch the video that is linked in the description below, where a lot more detail will be provided.